19 million. That's the number of families across this country who are paying more than half of their income on their housing. Half. When people pay that much for their housing, that means mothers can't buy fresh fruits and vegetables for their kids, men can't buy their heart medication, and a first grader's family can't buy her a new pair of shoes. 19 million families. That's more than double the population of New York City. That means one in every six families across this country are struggling to afford the basic necessities. When this many people are struggling, it affects all of us. And it's a silent crisis, but it probably affects somebody you know. It could be a neighbor, it could be your child's teacher, it could be the police officers in your community, it could even be a family member. Again, when this many people are struggling, it affects all of us, so we all have a stake in taking care of the situation. We see this playing out across the country. We see this playing out in places like San Francisco, Los Angeles, Cleveland, New Orleans, and so many more. We're even dealing with it back at home, where almost a quarter million people are struggling. They're paying more than half their income on, on their housing in places and communities across Washington, D.C., Northern Virginia, and suburban Maryland, what we call the Greater Washington Region. My name is Gretchen Griner Lott, and I've been living and working in the Greater Washington Region for over 20 years. Throughout the time, my, I've always had a local fo focus with my work. I've been a local grant maker, I've worked for city government, and now I'm the vice president of the Washington Regional Association of Grant Makers, where I lead our affordable housing work. And throughout it all, my work has always had a local focus. And I'm Rachel Riley Carroll. I work at Enterprise Community Partners, where we believe that opportunity starts at home. After Hurricane Katrina, I moved down to New Orleans to help rebuild homes. It was there that I realized how important the concepts of community and home truly were. Working alongside those families, I realized that they were not only rebuilding their home, they were rebuilding their lives. And that had a profound impact on me. It eventually led me to Washington, D.C., and that's where I met the Martinez sisters. Eva and Annabelle Martinez have lived in the Mount Pleasant neighborhood of Washington, D.C. for more than 20 years. The sisters and their mom tolerated slum-like living conditions as their apartment building crumbled around them. One by one, they watched as their neighbors, their friends, their support network left the community. The homes were no longer safe to live in, but they could not afford rent in the changing neighborhood. And the Martinez sisters, they were in the same boat. They couldn't afford to live in their home, and so they stayed. They stayed for two years, and they endured as the building crumbled around them. Broken windows marked the exterior. Rats ran down the hallways at night. Water and sewage leaked through the ceilings. And heat and electricity were never guaranteed. See, the Martinez sisters, they felt that every family deserved to be able to live in a community affordably that was connected to jobs, public transit, and a good education. This was their home. They didn't want to leave the community. It's where they grew up, it's where they went to school, and it's where they worked. And we agree with them. At Enterprise, we think it's critical that every community has homes that are affordable to low-income workers. And so we worked with them. We financed the improvements on their building, and we made sure that the 32 homes in that apartment building remained affordable for low-income workers in the in the neighborhood. This is a picture of them at the grand opening and the uh, little boy Uriel was born during the rehabilitation. We're able to do this because of impact investments made by residents, businesses, foundations, and nonprofits. And it was proof that together we truly can make an impact. Enterprises in the people business and the Washington Regional Association of Grant Makers is in the regional improvement business. That's why together we're working to address the affordable housing issue in our region. We're collaborating to leverage each other's strengths 
and we want to find out if we can grow the number of local stakeholders who understand how the housing crisis is impacting our community and also understand that they can be a part of the solution. Through the Enterprise Community Impact Note, we are able to receive investments that we then use to finance affordable homes. We call this impact investing. The crisis in DC has been well documented and through our new initiative, local residents, businesses, nonprofits, foundations, banks, they can all target investments for as little as $5,000 to support the creation and preservation of affordable homes. We're hopeful that this partnership will help to address the housing crisis in Washington, D.C., and we think that this model can be replicated throughout communities where the need is truly great. For example, in Los Angeles, where Terry lives, more than 385,000 families pay more than half of their income on housing. In Cleveland, where Philip lives, that number is 40,000 families. And this is a picture of Ms. Franklin. Before she moved into her new affordable home, which was financed by Enterprise, hers was one of the 39,000 families in New Orleans that paid half of their income on housing. This is a national crisis, but together we can make an impact. Together we can see these same people, the 19 million families, in a different situation. Together we want to see them thriving and contributing in their communities. Together we want to see them housed affordably. We would like you guys to consider impact investing. So we want you to be part of the solution. We want you to be part of this picture. We want you to be part of this picture. So please consider contacting us, www.impactnote.com, SOCAP15. We need everyone at the table working together to strengthen communities so we can prosper together. Thank you. Thank you.